23rd, I reported on the sensational news that nine tall grey EBAN extraterrestrials had been captured by the Galactic Federation of Worlds only four days earlier, which has sparked quite a bit of online interest and debate. These greys were allegedly the same leadership group that had reached agreements with the Eisenhower administration in the 1950s and were subsequently key players in the New World Order that had been secretly set up by their deep state partners. Only five days after the reported capture, Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp all experienced blackouts on October 4. A coincidence? Not so, according to the latest updates from two Galactic Federation representatives, Valnek and Thorhan, as relayed through independent sources. In my October 3rd article, I discussed how the tall greys were being kept in stasis chambers so as to disconnect them from their hive queen, which effectively was keeping them alive. The Galactic Federation was trying to crack the code of their connection since capturing tall greys alive for study purposes is apparently quite rare as the hive queen immediately terminates them after capture. It appears that the Galactic Federation's capture of the Tall Greys had significant repercussions for the global internet. This was especially the case for major social media companies which had long ago been infiltrated and compromised by the Tall Greys who had set up a mind control system through the internet that uses specific frequencies to manipulate humanity. Here is the information from Valnek which I received from Megan Rose on September 4. Quote, we are changing internet servers from a CIA-controlled service to a different non-hackable server that is run by the Earth Alliance. The war on information has been going on for a very long time. There are security threats to citizens as long as these servers remain operable and in control of the Dark Fleet and its allies. The United States has made agreements during the Jupiter meetings to use technology created by the Alliance for this project. This project is very large as it involves the internet systems that are responsible for most of Terra's internet. Many internet providers are run by private companies without the proper security features. This will change. We are in the process of dismantling these systems and replacing the old with new. I salute you. End quote. The gist of what Valnek is saying here is that the Tall Greys are experts in being able to hack into electronic systems and insert all kinds of stealth technologies that promote their long-term agenda. The CIA has been the principal US agency that has worked with the Tall Greys and Draco Orions on behalf of the Majestic 12 Group to create a planetary surveillance and communication system that was deeply compromised. The Galactic Federation has begun working with the Earth Alliance White Hats and the Space Commands of 14 spacefaring nations that attended the Jupiter meetings in July 2021 to set up a secure planetary system that would prevent the Greys, the Reptilians and other negative groups from infiltrating the Earth using wormholes, portals and interdimensional travel technologies. Apparently, this upgraded security system provided by the Galactic Federation to the Earth Alliance was also being incorporated into the global internet. Valnek's next update on October 4 gave more details about the upgrade to the Earth's internet made possible from the incorporation of the same technologies used for the planetary defense system. Quote Valnek, These frequencies have been recalibrated to a higher frequency, similar to much of the technology that is being used for planetary defense. These frequencies, the codes to them, are in the hands of the Earth Alliance. The Earth Alliance will be responsible for the codes of the new internet systems. This is important to note because the Nebu can hack into old internet systems the way it was designed before. Much like a portal, we were able to unlock their internet system using the frequency key we have recently recovered. It is like cracking a code, so to speak. A quantum configuration that is also a mathematical equation. It is a frequency. This is good news. The Federation will continue to work with the Alliance to secure Terra's internet and forms of communication. For a long time, many years, the Naboo have used lower frequencies to broadcast the internet, which are harmful or at least not ideal for Terrans. It is a frequency that is compatible with their mind control agenda. This will change thanks to the agreements made between the Federation and Alliance. Megan, 
When you said Dark Fleet and its allies in your first bit of intel, did you also mean Naboo as well? Valnek, yes, of course. The Naboo are involved. The three-letter agencies. What can I say? There is a small faction of humanoid extraterrestrials that also work alongside the Sakaar Empire and the now dismantled Dark Fleet. They are involved also. End quote. Valnek's update is exciting news. The codes and frequencies embedded into Earth's global communications and satellite systems, originally set up by the CIA, had long ago been compromised by Tor Greys, the Naboo. These codes had been recalibrated to the higher frequencies used by the planetary defense grid. As I discussed in a previous article, these higher frequencies are unhackable, thereby making it impossible for the Greys, the Reptilians and their allies to control the global internet. In short, the social media blackouts were caused by the recalibration of the global internet using secure frequencies, which was now under the control of the Earth Alliance. This takes me to information independently shared by Thorhan, as relayed through his contact, Elena Danan. Quote, Thorhan, these servers are now under the control of the Earth Alliance. I told you that your internet will change. We will now be able to go forward with the new technology we are offering to you. The Earth Alliance will set this in place. Anything that is owned by the CIA is being taken down. Thorhan said, they, the servers, are being disconnected from the Naboo Hive Queen, Elena. Thorhan just said they have changed the frequency of these servers and will put them back, but they are now disconnected from the Naboo frequencies. End quote. I received Elena's information in real time during the blackout of Facebook. Once again, the CIA is identified as the lead agency responsible for compromising the global internet to enable codes and frequencies transmitted by the Tall Greys and their Hive Queen to mind control the planet. Thorhan's reference to the servers now being under the control of the Earth Alliance means that the backbone of the global internet is no longer controlled by the CIA and their Tall Grey overlords. The consequence of this will be very powerful as the codes and frequencies embedded in the global internet would no longer work for the Tall Greys and their minions. Importantly, employees working in Facebook, WhatsApp, etc. will no longer be mind controlled through the codes and frequencies embedded in CIA controlled servers that their companies were unwittingly using. This means that many employees that are on the political left who had mindlessly implemented algorithms and policies to stifle free speech without giving it a second thought will now realize the consequences of their actions. This will certainly not transform the internet overnight, but it will begin the awakening process and help restore integrity to the people and social media companies that control it. What Valnek and Thorhan have revealed gives us a possible explanation for the real reason behind the global blackout of Facebook-controlled social media companies on October 4. The fact that the blackouts happened less than a week after the reported capture of the Tall Greys does point to a causal connection. If what Valnek and Thorhan have reported is accurate, we will not need to wait long to see noticeable differences in the way Facebook and other social media companies conduct themselves when it comes to censorship, shadow banning and other egregious practices that have stifled free speech and the great awakening on our planet. This has been Dr. Michael Sala with Exopolitics Today. There's still two days to go to register for my upcoming webinar Galactic Federations, Councils and Secret Space Programs. This will be my final webinar for 2021 and at the end I'll have a special 90 minute panel with Elena Danan and Megan Rose where we will be discussing their information concerning Galactic Federations and Councils and their latest intel on what is happening in our solar system. Thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe to my exopolitics.org website to receive all the latest updates on what is happening in our solar system today.